All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out, sitting in my shop, looking at a set of grips that I received from Lock Grips LLC. Jason Dickmar out of Door, Michigan. You know what that means? American made. Let me show you how this transaction happened. Well, first of all, I had was in the process of building this guy right here. This is a 1911 build. It's based off of a Palmetto State Army lower frame system. And one of the things I wanted was a nice set of grips. These are the operators from Lock Grips. Order these off of Amazon. These are fantastic look how these things are made they're absolutely beautiful with the cutouts the coloring is just on par with just they're they're awesome well anyway reached out to jason once i started getting into the cz factory based on a couple of friends of mine big johnson 1776 ks gun guy and a couple other guys out there as well as let me think gosh well just about all my good friends pops socal all those guys have well, lock grips on their guns. Well, why shouldn't I? Well, anyway, I reached out to Jason and said, hey, what do you have available for the SPO-1 or the Shadow-2? And he sent me a set of these guys right here. Now, these are their bogey set of grips. And basically what that means is they're ba they show exactly the same profile as the, well, the standard grips that you get from CZ, in exception that they are G10 material. I love these things. Now, the one issue that we ran into, and it's not really an issue, what it was was just a kind of a redesign. These are perfect for the SP01 tactical. As you can see right here, the cut, and they've got a nice little ledge right there, and the decarker works just fine with it. But it, as far as the grip and the texturing, these particular ones are absolutely awesome. Now, where we ran into an issue was, it was on the Shadow 2. Now, these came off of the Shadow 2, and I had to kind of sand these down right here and the reason we had to do that was simply because in competition we carry in condition one with the safety lever on so when you went up to move the safety this little ledge got in the way well jason said listen i've got a fix for that i'd like to show it to you as soon as we can now jason i told him basically the only reason that i would like to take it or entertain these things because to be honest with you i was very happy with these is that if in the event I could have grips that would make my good friend Big Johnson jealous. Now, let me give a little backstory. If you're not subscribed to Big Johnson, I'm going to leave a link up here somewhere to Big Johnson's YouTube channel. If you would do me the honor, please go on and subscribe. You may have already heard me talk about him in the past. Big Johnson is one of those guys, he has to have the flashiest, the most obnoxious looking grips of all time. So, I think Jason has achieved his mission. Mission. Introducing the new redesigned bogies for <laughs> the SP01 and the Shadow 2. Guys, these are absolutely cool. Now, one of the things I will let you know is that this texture right here is absolutely one of the most aggressive textures out there. And I like that because in a competition world, I don't have time. Even if you have a mix grip on there, you want to be able to grasp a hold of it. Right now, my hands are pretty sweaty because it's hot out here in the shop. But we eliminated or he eliminated the little hump that was right there making this thinner up here not having to put the the index right here for your safety or your mag release but look at that absolutely perfect and look at the coloring as I circle all the way around I love that little bit of a green texture in there a little added feature right here I'm sure that he could work something out with you if you wanted something custom put in there a little KB 32 action but look at that and I love the blue on the black that does really well. And as well, you've got the green accents as they come around. These are truly Diamondbacks. Look at that thing. A little KB32 action. And I love that. On these, it works well with the safety actuator as well as right here. See how your thumb doesn't get caught up on that. Again, not a big deal for me because I just took it to the sander and took care of it. But I tell you what, a company like Lock Grips, they want to do it right. And if they have to make some adjustments down the road to make it even more perfect then so be it but in any case i just want to know what are your thoughts on this big johnson how do you like those grips uh i might be able to sell you a set of these i don't know but in any case guys i just want to say thank you to jason up there at lock grips there's his card and you're going to go www.lockgrips.com i'm going to put the link down below and that's about it but if you want a good set of grips at a good economical price a lot more economical than the competitors out there. Go ahead and give them a shout out. Let them know I sent you. It's Coda Boy 32. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. 
sometimes comes in nine millimeters. Good boy 32. Now, look at those. That's a pretty set of CZs. I like them. 